And there's Aiden Fry, needs no introduction, starting his 12th season. And at this week's press conference, Aiden Fry talked about his 1990 Hawkeyes. He's found his uh, physical toughness with this football team, and it, that's hard to do in practice. So the game itself this weekend will be certainly a learning process for our football team, and I, I hope they develop a little personality. But being a first game, we're aware we're going to make some mistakes. We just hope they're not humongous. Lots of pressure from the Hawkeyes, and John Kirby comes from his linebacking spot to put the stuff on him. Double stack in the backfield this time. Jeff pull up the fullback with Terry Strong. Anderson over the ball. The loss is five at second and 15. No place to go. A loss of two yards. And this time, Jim Johnson, Hawkeye co-captain and All-American candidate, puts the stop on him. And the name of the game, Mike Riley, is controlling that line of scrimmage, and the Hawks have done that on two snaps here. They sure did, and Cincinnati trying to run a draw play there, anticipating that strong rush to slow it up a little bit. But great play by Johnson. Moses Santos also in on the play. So the Hawkeyes were prepared for that also. Matt Rogers overthrowing forward 2,000 yards last year as a sophomore and doing a great job. And they're going to be a very effective offensive line to give Tony Stewart and Montgomery or Bell, whoever's in that backfield, some running room. Five carries and 19 yards for Stewart going upstairs. Connection is Matt Rogers to the 35 yard line. That's Michael Titley. That's a nice play. A little play action there keeps those linebackers in there tight and gives Titley a chance to jump in right behind him. He's right behind the linebackers. In front of the defensive secondary, it's a, a great pass pattern. Rodgers on first and 10, the 35. Going upstairs again. Tucks it in. The line of scrimmage, plus five. Now Quinn, the pickup is 12 yards. Iowa's third first down in this series. You'll notice the Hawkeye quarterbacks will be wearing the Darth Vader visors. And they are shades that disguise the eyes. When the quarterback comes out to read at the offensive line, he doesn't even have to let his eyes give away, perhaps an audible at the line. Nick Bell into the lineup for the first time. Seven carries, 36 yards for Tony Stewart, who gets a break. Sidearm delivery. Whoa! Interception, Cincinnati. Clear scaling up the left sideline. It's Rodney Harris. From his quarterback position, Bell in pursuit puts the handle on him at the two-yard line. Ooh. Nick Bell says, whoa, wait a minute, we're not going to let you get away with it. And now Cincinnati works from the full house backfield behind Anderson. Second man through, and it'll be a touchdown, Cincinnati. Hughes to the left, balloon to the right. Montgomery and Stewart in the backfield. Setting up at the 22-yard line, Rogers connected to Hughes at midfield. Down to the 46-yard line, and the Hawks are on the move late in the first quarter. Against Cincinnati up on the board. Going left, cutting right, Montgomery. Hey, got some room, he's inside the 20-yard line. Bell and Montgomery are stacked up. This is Rogers who tries to dig in from the right side, and he gets it. The Hawkeyes get on the scoreboard in their third offensive possession of the football game, second play of the second quarter. And here's Cincinnati, second and nine. Interception, Merton Hanks. A brilliant job leading his blocks after the interception. It's like Jason, Jason Olenzak. Olenzak. On the delay, that'll be Nick Bell. Whoa, look out! It's Nick Bell. Double tight end setup for the Hawkeyes, Titley and Lang. And Rogers over the top gets his second sneak for the score. Motion is Abrams. Ball stripped loose. That was Leroy Smith who got a hand on him from the corner. 
And the fumble recovery for Jim Johnson. And the Hawks with superb field position from the 17, first and 10. Montgomery and Bell. Here's Bell. Whoa! Touchdown, Iowa! That type of a short passing game is, can be very effective, especially with a guy like Anderson. Abrams tripped up as he crosses the 40. The ball shakes loose. And who's going to get it? Fox say we got it. But was the knee down and was the whistle blown? The knee was not down. And the Hawks get it on their second straight fumble recovery. And guess who? Melvin Foster. First and 10. Belting his way across the 30-yard line is Lou Montgomery, who gets his second big gain of the afternoon. And a busy Rodney Harris puts the stop on him. Just a, a quick opener. When he saw that opening, he gets up through it so quickly. Balloon left, Saunders right. But this is Stewart. Past the 40. Open field, look at him go. the Iowa 31-yard line. 69 yards. And here you see Tony Stewart running right at you. And the horse race is underway, and you know who's going to win it. Tony Stewart. Maybe I'm going to drill this into the turf. And then again, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if I should do that. Attaboy, Tony. And 10 from the 41 yard line with just a minute 25 remaining. Rogers setting up, holds in the pocket, and the interception. Cincinnati, Kelly Sims on the fly to the 21 yard line. And this time, Cincinnati takes a page out of the Iowa defensive playbook, and the attempted field goal here, David Rowe will. Abbott sat down at the 17. The attempt is 27 yards. And it's good. And we'll be back with a look at the first half highlights and stats in just one moment. And Iowa's second punt of the football game will bring Jim Isaac out. He'll release from about the 15-yard line. Lone deep to receive. Short step, and Jenkins backtrack, uh, backtrack to the 30. He cuts the football, but there's a flag upfield. Apparently, we're going to have a roughing the kicker call. It'll be negated because Iowa recovers after the ball is mishandled. Nick Bell will slot to the left. Sean Smith further out to the left, and Mike Saunders is split right. Rogers, good sidestep out of the backfield. Bell crunch at the 30, the 20, inside the 10-yard line. Look at him go. <laughs> Bell is stacked up in the eye with Montgomery. Montgomery gets the call, untouched into the end zone. Lou Montgomery. Uh, and if you can hear that sound, it sounds like a boo, but it's for Lou. Lou Montgomery. Damon Bryant is wide to the right. But going left is Anderson, snuffed out. <laughs> Two points. Uh, Jim Johnson says he's a safety, but I think he's about two nope. feet short. <laughs> well, he had his heels in the end zone <laughs> there, Pat. <laughs> Connection, that's Balloon at the 30-yard line. Third and nine. Yep. Damon Hughes at the 11-yard line. And the Hawks get a third down conversion. That's a nice play. Hughes throws into the middle, and you'll see the linebacker in the line of vision. And when, he, when you saw the linebacker coming out there, number 58, he threw to the outside, and Damon Hughes makes a nice fingertip catch. So well executed by the Hawkeyes. First and 10. For all practical purposes, first and goal. Rogers tucks it in. Third touchdown of the afternoon for Matt Rogers. 
but when the receiver has the ball near him, Hawkeye defenders right there on top of him, either knocking it down, shaking it loose, so they're really doing a good job. Here's Jim Hartley in his first snap from center. My, my, my. <laughs> hey, Coach, get me in the ball game. I'm ready to go. Hey, the other brother sure. played up in Wisconsin. Stouter there. Linebacker. Correct. Position you're familiar with, I understand, Mike Rano. Like yeah? those linebackers. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> That's Hartley from two yards away. And that'll be his first touchdown in the Hawkeyes. And he's obviously a little bit excited down there. That's great. You see, once again, Kuala Jawa out there in front takes the block. But again, Jim Hartley said this is pretty easy. He ran the ball three times, all good gainers, and the third one he puts in the end zone. 49 to 10. The Hawkeyes really have come out here in the second half now. Put the lumps on Cincinnati. If you want to look at anything positive, there's something there at least that they could work on. If I'm not mistaken, that's Cincinnati's first first down of the second half, and the Bearcats pop it up here. That's right. Ted Bailey makes a hit there to yep. shake the ball loose. Scott played right on his on the ball. He meets helmets with Iowa's Rod Davis in pursuit from his nose position. And Hartley setting up at the 40. Got his man over the middle. Tight end Bill Lang goes high in the air to bring it down at the 13. It's enough for the first down. And we'll end the third quarter on a pass completion. Hartley to Lane. And with the Hawks leading 49-10, we'll be back with the fourth quarter in just one moment. First and 10 from the 13. Hawks now left to right in front of us, looking into the sun in the fourth quarter. First and 10. Ed Kuyawa. Did he have it as he crossed the goal line? You bet he did. Kuyawa from 13 yards out. So regardless, we still haven't announced for sure who got the touchdown, but we'll give it to Kuyawa. Well, Mike Peroni might want to argue about that. Argue. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice that Jim Hartley wears the Darth Vader eye protector as the starting quarterback Matt Rogers and third teamer Paul Burmeister and apparently it took some adjustment something to get used to for the quarterback that's the thing I would think uh, for sure they would have a problem someday I'm going to put one of those helmets on just to see what you do see the only thing, the best reason is also as you said earlier to protect the eyes so that people can't read them and where they might be looking for a hole or Oh, it's a heads-up move for Hartley on the sprint out left side. Pitched it out late once he was past the line of scrimmage. To Marvin Lampkin, Latish Kinsler picks it up. And the gain for the two of them, Hartley and Lampkin, is enough for the first down. Well, as we talked about earlier in the game, there's a lot of young people in the Cincinnati team that Got quite a lesson today, but if they can learn from it, that's going to be to their advantage in future games. Lampkin, the late pitch out. <laughs> Hartley from 11 yards away. Here's Hartley in his second touchdown run of the game of the season and in his career. Yeah, does a good job of finding that open area, breaking a couple tackles, picking up a block, on into the end zone. Newly expanded Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, up to 70,400, closing off the end zone up top of the screen, and a good house on end. Sixty-three to ten, and a new school record for rushing touchdowns. Hartley's run is the ninth 
Iowa's 13 quarterback has come on, and that is Paul Burmeister. And Burmeister is a freshman, 6'4 and a buck 95 out of West High School in Iowa City. Second down and five. Burmeister to crank on the delayed handoff. Keeps the legs going. Oh, inside the 15 yard line. That'll be Crank, past the midfield strike inside the 40, the 35-yard line. The game he is 18 yards for Ernest Craig. They're going to be real happy to get on the bus, get to the plane, and head back east. Slow it. And Crank working to the left side. Sidestep inside the 20, inside the 15. Hey, that was a candy little move, huh? Was. That option play has been very, very effective for the Hawkeyes throughout this entire game. 20 seconds and counting. This could be the final play of the game. Slowick, delayed handoff. Crank nailed in the backfield. Kyle Stroh makes his second straight tackle. And that'll put a lid on this one. As the Iowa Hawkeyes open up the 1990 campaign on a winning note, congratulations for Hayden Fry and for Tim Murphy. And some words of encouragement, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure that's what he's saying to Tim Murphy right now. Keep your head up and keep these kids going and uh, looking for the Hawkeyes going in the next week's game against Iowa State. You have to believe that there's a lot of bright spots that the Hawkeyes saw on their part today. A lot of people got in the game, but a, some good running, some good blocking out there, and that's what they have to do, establish a good running game, I think, to make this a successful football team, and it looks like they might be on the right track. Box matchup against Iowa State next weekend here at Kinnick Stadium. We'll be back on October 13th, of course. And the Hawks rack up a victory to open up their 102nd football campaign. And a big one it is. The swarm to bring the Hawkeyes on the field and the swarm to take them off. Final score of this one in a record-breaking effort for the Hawkeyes. And the Hawks put one up on the board in the win column. Iowa 63 and Cincinnati 10. A reminder, Iowa Public Television next Hawkeye football telecast will be Saturday the 13th of October at 10.30 as the Hawks tackle the Wisconsin Badgers led by their head coach and former Iowa assistant Barry Alvarez. That's the Badgers against the Hawkeyes on Saturday, October 13th at 10.30. Do plan to watch with us. And now for Mike Riley. I'm Mike Newell saying good night for Iowa Public Television Sports. <laughs>